Best Mata. Best thing I can come out. I don't know. It's it's Belgium. I don't know. Boy smiling. Mate. Doggy under the table. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review and a Toby under tow. And here we have from West Mala, uh, Trappist Ale Duple. So I've had this before, 7% alcohol, 24 IBUs. So it should be nice and mild. It's been sitting out. It should be really opened up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yeah, nice dark coloring. I can't, I can't ever remember the, you know, the doubles and triples. They go back and forth. And one's dark, one's golden, one's amber. Now, some of you are going to yell at that, how horrible a pour that is. Well, there's the fill line, and I'm just below it when I hold it flat. This is how it's supposed to be for a Belgian, okay? Now, a lot of times people say I pour too much head on the beer, and I've seen over there on the Tri Channel, when the, those Irish people, I, they love, must love flat beer. I don't get it. Yeah, I poured it a little bit more than it should have been. There we go. There's level. I'm like three millimeters below the fill line, so bite me. Oh, nice dark fruity flavors. Mmm. You really taste the candied sugar. And I'm going to pour it all, make sure I get the yeast in the bottom. So there you go. There's the whole bottle. Okay. Now this is a La, uh, La Fin du Monde uh, from Unibrew on the back. My, my son's friend is finally here. So I can really taste the candy. Uh, sugar, you got the nice dark coloring, a little hazy from the, um, the yeast. There's a little yeast. This is one that you really want to get that yeast because the yeast provides so much flavor and aroma and good source of vitamin B. Now, what's interesting is this one being a 7% alcohol, which isn't very high, it's kind of in that medium grab, it's at the higher end of medium. But one thing that's interesting on the back of the label. So, served at 45 to 55, and this is probably close to, four, to 48, 50 degrees right now. But best before 2021, uh, January 30th. So it has year, month, day, which is more than a year away from the time of this recording. In fact, it's a year and almost um, um, two months. So, this is fairly recent, and yet... It'll age, it'll store, it'll go good, as long as that sun, light struck or in heat for well over a year past uh, when it was bottled. That's fantastic. It's 7%. Now, you expect to send 8 or 9 or a 10. And I mean, some of the 10, 12s, they're all, it's some great, you know, I, I don't know if, if Stone makes IRS anymore, but man, that thing got really chocolatey after about two years. So, this is definitely a beer that is good for just sipping around having finger foods with friends, just chatting, um, any kind of cheese, you could do sardines if you want, you could do sausages, you could do even celery sticks with peanut butter if you want. It really goes well with just kind of hors d'oeuvre type foods. Sandwiches, mm. you, you don't get a lot of malt. You get dark fruit flavors, dark fruit aromas, and then the, there's a sweetness that comes from the sugar. But man, that's good. That is really good. Finishes nice and clean. Oh, yeah, very good. So previously, I've, I've checked into this one before. I'm not going to check into it again. But uh, four and a half is what I give this. Uh, mainly because uh, it's as good. Duval is a little bit better. And then Chimay, I think it's Chimay Blue is, is up there. And then there's another one. I can picture the label. It's got a six. They have like a four, six, and an eight. And this one should be around the six. Uh, it's a little bit better. So four and a half with some, I mean, it's like each beer is like a quarter, per, quarter point better um, of those other kinds. So this is pretty good. And I need to do a Duval. I have a Duval glass. I need a Duval beer review in a Duval glass. So there you go. Four and a half out of five is what I give it. Do you, you like that? Not like it? Do you like the Trappist Ales? Do you like those dark, 
uh, fruity flavors and aromas and the sweetness on the back end. I mean, it's 7%, but it's very smooth. You get no booziness, no hints that the alcohol is that high. Would definitely sneak up on you if you weren't paying attention. But uh, really good uh, beer. Like I said, great for just sitting around, chatting with friends, warm or cold, doesn't matter. Eating some hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres, and this goes perfect with it. So there you go. Thanks so, so much, and we will see you. Goodbye. He's back. Yeah. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Hey, I'm putting this at the end credit scene. And people complain about my pores, you know? So this one I had the foam all up to here. But right there is the fill line, and I was like two millimeters below it. And I'm like, look, see? Don't tell me I poured too much head. As soon as they come a little bit. Alright, let me finish up. I don't remember where I was.